Hi, let's talk about ternary operator in TypeScript. Suppose that we have two numbers and that we want to check which one of them is bigger. Let's say that we have two variables, x and y, and that we have third variable bigger. These variables are going to be numbers. We want to check which one of x and y is bigger we can do that by using if else statement so we're going to ask if x is greater than or equal to y then our bigger number is going to be x in this case we're going to assume that if they are equal then x is going to be the bigger the bigger number and else if x is less than y then our bigger number is going to be number y pretty simple code pretty simple example and let me ask you something, uh, could we do that uh, more easier? Uh, could we make uh, that, could we write our code so it would be more readable? Uh, yes, we could. We could use ternary operator which starts with question mark and this question mark is followed by colon sign so uh, let's uh, solve our prob uh, problem by using the conditional ternary operator so first we want to ask if x is greater than or equal to y Let's ask that question. If this statement is true, then our bigger number is going to be number x. And if our statement is false, which means that x is less than y, then our bigger number is going to be y. And we want to store the result of our calculations is inside our variable bigger so here we have a ternary operator here is the first operator then x is let's uh, make it like this to be more cleaner this one is a first operator, x is going to be the second operator and y is going to be the third operator. So here the first operand is implicitly converted to boolean so its value can be just true or false. So we need to evaluate this value and if this value is true then we're going to evaluate the second operand and if our first operand is evaluated to false then we're going to evaluate the third operator. So in this case, if this is a true, then we're going to evaluate x and our variable bigger is going to have, is going to be assigned to x variable. And if this is a false, then our variable bigger is going to
to have value of y okay that's all for now that's all in this video thanks for